All right, so this is the EVGA Supernova 850 GT PSU, and I, I've kind of just come to like e the EVGA brand, um, but that's that's not the only, I didn't just buy it because of that. There were certain features and uh, th things that I was looking for. So I bought this P PSU specifically because uh, for a few different reasons. So <clears throat> it is compatible with the motherboard that I selected, so that was pretty important. Um, I also, yeah, so I, I do like the EVGA brand and I wanted 850 watts of power to be avail available just in case of expansion. I figured that would be more than enough. I would, I would still have some, uh, some, some room e even after adding a GPU and whatever else I want to add to the system. Um, definitely don't think I would want, need anything more than that. And I'm, um, I'm actually not going to need anywhere near 850 Watts just starting out. So I could have gone with something smaller, but I, I, I just wanted that much power, you know, just for future expansion. Um, <clears throat> also the specific, uh, power supply has great ratings and it's, and it's efficient and it has hundred percent Japanese capacitors, which is, uh, you know, a, a major plus i wouldn't have even thought of that but that is a good thing i've seen bad caps on system boards and things go wrong so that that does make me feel a bit better um also this was available for quick pickup at micro center that's another reason i picked this one specifically because i had to get this build put together quickly to replace another system that uh, that actually died um <clears throat> some key features are 850 watts 80 plus gold so that that's kind of an important rating you could go for you could look for more but that's that by itself i think makes me feel good just to have that, that 80 plus gold rating and um it's an atx power supply full it's fully modular i think most power supplies that i've seen these days are fully modular but i i remember in the not too distant past things were not modular <clears throat> and um for for me it kind of seems normal to have a non-modular power supply which is actually terrible when you think about it. It's it's you know you know it's a you take it for granted now, but it's uh yeah they really should have been designed like this from the beginning. I don't I don't not know why they wouldn't have been, but uh, any case, nice that we live in a world today with modular power supplies where they're kind of standard. Any case, uh, let's let's look at the specs really quick. So. Um, let's see for cables it uh, so it comes with an ATX cable an EPS cable a SATA cable PCIe cable four pin peripheral cable um, floppy adapter Molex to FDD uh, modular cable and AC power so um, if you want the exact uh, measurements for those just check the link in the description I have a table with all the specs um, it's a nice pretty looking table formatted nicely so do check that link in the description now for connectors on this it has a 24 pin ATX connector has one of those and it has uh, an EPS CPU connector so it has two of these eight pin connectors and when I say eight pin that's actually four plus four it has uh, nine SATA connectors and um, seven eight pin PCIe connectors and when I say eight pin I mean six plus two and it has a four pin has three four pin peripheral connectors and one floppy connector which is pretty amazing but they may as well just throw it in there <clears throat> and um, so total power um, AC input is going to be a hundred to 240 volts approximately and it's going to have uh, 10 to 5 amps um, 60 or 50 hertz total output is going to be 850 watts now for the rails um, we're going to have uh, we, we have a few different rails I'm going to go through each of these at one at a time so you have your th your positive 3.3 uh, volt rail max out amps is 20 amps and max out watts is 130 <clears throat> now your plus 5 volt uh, rail is going to have 20 amps max out and 130 watts max out now your plus 12 volt rail is going to have 70.8 amps max out and 850 watts max out now your plus 5 vsb rail is going to have three amps max out and 15 watts max out now your <clears throat> your uh, negative 12 volt 
rail is going to have 0.3 amps and max out and it's going to be uh, 3.6 watts so max uh, max out watts and there's a nice little again nice little table for this just check the link in the description and um, let's see more details so operating temperature is going to be 0 to 50 celsius um, eco mode is auto so auto eco mode um, the size the measurements are going to be 86 millimeters by 150 millimeters by 150 millimeters the weight is going to be 6.2 pounds <clears throat> and we're searching from metric to imperial here but it is what it is this is what they listed um, fan size and bearings so we're gonna have 135 millimeter and it comes with fluid dynamic bearings now um mtbf would be uh 100 000 hours and the japanese capacitors they're all 100 percent japanese capacitors so worth knowing <clears throat> and that's pretty much it for the specs if you want to see where you can pick this or any other parts I used in this build up, just check the link in the description. Also, you might want to check out the video of the full build. That link's also going to be in the description, so check that out too. Go ahead and hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button. You're not going to want to miss out on our other great videos. We have a lot of great stuff we put out already and we have a lot of stuff coming up soon. So uh, definitely hit the subscribe button and also hit the little bell icon. Otherwise YouTube's not going to alert you when we come out with a new video and you're not going to want to miss these. We put a lot of other great content out. We, this includes hardware, software, networking, servers, coding, electronics, single board computers, 3D printing, robots, and a ton more. Also, leave a comment down below, not just for me, but for the next person who watches this video. If you know something that I don't know, or you have any comments, questions, criticism, whatever you wanna say, just leave the comment down below. Uh, hopefully you found this video useful, or at least interesting. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.